In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the deployment diagram for any topic that is provided to us. Now, in order to draw the deployment diagram, you need to know the symbols that are required in drawing the deployment diagram. Only if you know the symbols which are necessary in drawing a deployment diagram, you will be able to draw the diagram for any topic that is provided to you. So, how many symbols are there? In this deployment diagram there are two symbols the first symbol is node and the second symbol is artifact these are the two most important symbols that are required in drawing a deployment diagram but there are further symbols which are required in drawing the deployment diagram these two are the main main symbols the other symbols are association and the last one is dependency. So, totally there are four symbols which are required in drawing a deployment diagram. One is node, artifact, association and the last one is dependency. So, among these four, the most important symbols are node and artifact only if you know how to draw a node how to draw an artifact you will know how to draw the deployment diagram if you know to draw node and artifact easily you can use association and dependency in the diagram okay first let us look into the symbol of node so how will you draw the symbol of node First, you need to draw a 3D box. So, the first step is you need to draw a 3D box. So, draw a box like this. Then you need to do like this. So, this is a 3D box. So, this is known as a node. This is called as a node. 3D box. So, after drawing this box, what you have to do? Inside this box, you need to put this symbol and you need to write device and close this device. So, this is your second step. The first step in drawing a node is you need to draw the 3D box. The second step is you need to write this symbol and write device and close that symbol. Next, the last thing which you have to do is you have to write the node name below it. Node name you have to write below this device. So now for example, if the topic given to us is online shopping system. What can be the node name required for the topic online shopping system? Database portal. Database portal can be the node name. So, in the place of node name, I can write database portal if the topic given to me is online shopping system. How I can write database portal? Database portal means all the information that is required about the topic will be stored. Now, online shopping means every, every details. Detail about the customer, detail about the products that you are going to sell, detail about the products that has been sold out. All those details will be stored in the database portal only in online shopping system. So, node name for the topic online shopping system will be database portal. So, you have to create a node like this. First, you need to draw a 3D box. Second, you need to put this symbol and write device and close that symbol. Third, you have to write the node name below that device. So, this is the symbol for node. Now, let's look into the symbol for artifact. So, how will you draw the symbol for artifact? The first step is you need to draw a rectangle. So, draw a rectangle like this. This is your first step. Second, what you have to do? You have to put this symbol the same way how you did for device. The same way you have to do here. Open that symbol. Write artifact. Next, close that symbol. 
this is your second step your third step is below this you have to write the artifact name here you wrote the node name here you are writing the artifact name next what is the fourth step you have to do on the right top corner this is your right top corner here you need to draw one icon what is the icon you are going to draw you need to put like this like this and like this this is the icon that you have to draw on top right corner so this is how you have to draw the symbol for artifact now artifact name for example i can write online shopping cart now for example if the topic is online shopping then in the place of artifact name i can write online shopping cart that is one of the artifact how it is an artifact of course the customers whatever products they are planning to buy they will add it in the cart right so cart plays an important role in online shopping system so that is one of the artifacts so in the place of artifact name i can write online shopping cart if the topic given to me is draw the deployment diagram for online shopping system so in this way you need to draw the artifact the first step is you need to draw the rectangle the second step is you need to open the symbol and write artifact and close that symbol the third step is you need to write artifact name below the artifact the last step is on top right corner you need to draw this symbol the symbol is like this this is the symbol which you will be drawing on top right corner of the rectangle in this way you need to draw the symbol so this is the symbol for node this is the symbol for artifact so now next we are going to learn how to club a node and an artifact how to club both together and draw we learned how to draw a node separately we learned how to draw an artifact separately now we are going to learn how to club both how to use node and artifact together that we are going to learn now so now first i am going to draw a node how will you draw a node you have to draw one 3d box first so this is my 3d box so i have drawn one node so what is the next step i need to put this symbol and write device inside it and close that symbol next what i have to do i need to write the name of the node so name node name i have to write so in this way i have to draw a node this is how we learnt right in this way only we are supposed to draw a node now how are we going to club a node and an artifact together we have drawn node now how will we include artifact with this how are we going to join artifact and node i am going to draw one artifact inside this node how to draw it inside the node here there is some space right so here i need to draw the artifact we learned how to draw the artifact in the same way we need to follow and draw it inside this node first step is i need to draw a rectangle next i need to open this symbol and write artifact and close that symbol next below that i need to write the artifact name next on top right corner i need to draw this symbol that's it so i have drawn a node and inside that node i have drawn one artifact so this is known as clubbing of node and artifact clubbing of node and artifact so in this i have clubbed a node as well as the artifact first we learned how to draw the node separately how to draw artifact separately we learned it now we are learning how to draw the node and artifact 
clubbing club together how to draw the symbol when node and artifact are clubbed together inside the node you need to draw the artifact okay next what symbol we saw next we saw association and then dependency so how to draw the association symbol now for example here there is one node node means i need to draw a 3d box so for example this is node 1 and here there is another node this is node 2 so i have two separate nodes now i'm going to join these two nodes by drawing a line between the two nodes which is joining the two nodes from start of node 1 to end of node 2 i'm just drawing a line so this line is known as association this line is known as association so what do you mean by association it means some communication connection between the two nodes on top of this line i can also write some message but writing the message is not mandatory if i want to write some message i can write if i am not willing to write any message on top of the line i need not write any message so why should we write some text on top of this association line when i write some text it will give an idea about what communication is happening between node 1 and node 2 that idea we will be getting we'll get some idea we'll get what kind of relationship is there between the two nodes that we will get to know if i write some message on top of this line association line but that text writing is not mandatory if you are willing to write you can write or else you can leave it as it is so joining the two nodes using a single straight line is known as association now next the last symbol that we saw was dependency so what do you mean by dependency here there is one node this is node 1 and here i am drawing another node which is node 2 so there are two nodes now i am going to connect these two nodes with dotted line from node 1 to node 2 i am going to draw the dotted line and i am going to draw an arrow mark facing node 2 so this dotted arrow line is known as dependency this clearly means that node 1 is depending on node 2 node 1 depends on node 2 why i am saying node 1 depends on node 2 and not node 2 depends on node 1 it is because the arrow mark is facing node 2 if the arrow mark is facing node 2 then i have to say that node 1 is depending on node and the dotted arrow if i'm drawing it is called as dependency so node 1 is depending on node 2 that is the meaning for this arrow dotted arrow if the arrow mark is facing node 1 then i can say that node 2 is depending on node 1 so this is the meaning for this symbol so totally we learned four symbols in this video first we learned node symbol second we learned artifact symbol next we learned how to co combine both node and artifact together as one next we learned the symbol of association which is a line connecting node 1 and node 2 next we learned the symbol dependency which is dotted arrow line So if you know all of these symbols you can easily draw the deployment diagram for any topic that is provided to you. So the most important step is you need to know all the symbols that are required in drawing the deployment diagram. So these four symbols and how to combine node and artifact together. If you know all of these things you can easily draw the deployment diagram for the topic that is provided to you in the exam 
I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much.